Hi there guys, this is Malvers from Malvers Animations. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make any animal from the Unity Asset Store mountable with Horse and Inset Pro. So let's start. For this tutorial we'll be using the Fantasy Rhino of Mashkim, the Free Fantasy Spider of Kalamona, the Camel, Ostrich and Elephant from Yunichi Suko. Now that we have all the animals in the project, remember also to import Horse and Insect Pro. Ok, so let's start by adding the animals. The camel. Don't mind the scale of the camel, we will fix that later. Let's add the elephant, the ostrich and the rhino. Ok, so let's make them compatible with the writing system. For that we need to make some manual configurations. First let me add quickly the free loot camera rig that comes with Horse and Insect Pro. Ok, first step. Take all the animals and set the layer to Animal. And yes, include the children. The second step is to add some colliders to the animals. Usually I add the colliders on the spine of each animal. You can add it also on the head and sometimes on the limbs but for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to add it only on the spine. And let's skip this because you will be doing it for one animal, right? Ok, stop. Sometimes a bone will not be aligned the way you desire it, so you will get something a bit strange. In that case what you need to do is to create an empty child of that bone and add the collider to that empty child. That way you can move it around and rotate it the way you want it. Ok, doing the same for the last animal and done. Now third step, adding the animal animator. Now you will find under the Marvel's animation folders common, clean animal animator, you will find the animal base animator controller. For this tutorial we'll be using the animal base with no fly. So for your animal you will duplicate this animator and rename it to whatever name you want. I'm just going to put it on the asset folder for now, just to know where it is. In my case I'm working with 5 animals so I'm going to duplicate it and make 5 animators. Ok, why am I doing 5 animals at the same time? because some of them have root motion animation and some of them have in place animations and I'm going to show you the ways around the animal script to make it work first step is easy just drag the animator controller into the animator component and yeah I'm just gonna be a good developer and rename the animals to proper names <laughs> Now fifth step is to add the rigid body. Let's set the mass to 50 and on the constraints let's freeze the rotations and the Y position. And since we are using a rigid body let's change the update mode on the animator to animate physics. Ok, next step is to add the Malverse input script and the animal script. Next, let's add some pivots. The pivots are responsible for calculating the terrain alignment and also the height of the animal. Height, right? Sorry for my English. There are three main pivots, the hip, the chest and the water pivots. But none of these animals have swim animations, so we will skip the water pivot. So to make a pivot, create an empty child of the animal, place it on the top and rename it pivot chest. Hip, chest and water are the keywords for the pivots. Add the pivot script. The chest pivot place it right on the center of the front legs. Then modify the multiplier to make the rate a bit longer, so the animal can find the terrain a bit easier. Then duplicate the pivot and move it horizontally to place it on the center of the back legs. Rename the second pivot to pivot hip. For the ostrich we don't want the terrain alignment, so we will only create the pivot chest. Again place it on the center of the beginning of the legs, 
and modify the multiplier just to make the ray a bit longer so the animal can know where the terrain is. For more information about the pivots you can check the documentation link below. Ok, for the elephant and the camel I will make the same process I did on the rhino, because they all have 4 legs. As for the spider, instead of creating the pivot chest, we'll create the pivot hip. That way the terrain alignment will be done with just one pivot. Next step is fixing the height of the animal. Hit play. As you can see the animal is on the air. So changing the height we can put it back on the ground. When you have the correct height, copy the value, stop play and paste the value back. And I'm just gonna do the same for the other animals. Hitting play, changing the height, getting the height right, copying the height, stop the play mode and pasting the height back. Now that we fix the height, we can set the animals to the proper scale. We can use the cowboy included on the horse and insect pro as the reference for the scale. And since we are mounting a spider too, we can make the spider a little bigger. So with that we finish the first part of the tutorial. On the next video we are going to replace all the animations on the animator controller.